it's raining but I woke up today and I figured instead of crying over my uh, lithium battery situation with my 7.5 amp hour battery packs why don't I put four of my lead acid batteries back in the trailer for 48 volt rebuild the solar top again put all three panels on it and then I'm going to put my favorite solar controller back in it this one does 48 volts okay so the first thing I have to do since I've pretty much destroyed this is tear it all down and get that panel and I've come up with a way to put it back together so it's less wonky and it's a little stronger I'm actually gonna build it on the table here upside down and use the wall to support some of the legs until I get some like cross members across and get it all squared out but last time I didn't measure or do anything proper I used one hand this time I've got uh, two long top pieces measured and pre-cut so I just got to find uh, a couple pieces of wood or something laying around and I'm gonna pre-measure everything and make sure everything's all squared this time I'm gonna get this all torn down now uh, it's all riveted it'll be a pain to drill out all the rivets it's all torn down got all three panels in here but uh, first thing I want to do is actually build my side the two left and right sides and then attach the panels to it so right now I want these panels down out of my way so to make sure it's all squared and not wonky this time I have measured and all I have to do oh I'm gonna have to cut and go clean these old rivets out but the plan is I'm only gonna put one rivet in there for now get that lined up where I want it as squared as I can but the reason why I'm only doing one rivet is I'm going to cut the right length of board to go across the bottom end to make sure it's squared and I'm gonna do that on both sides like so and then once two of those whoa, once two of those are made I'm gonna lay out the panels facing down and I can just stand it up like so and put that across the panels on both sides but I can also take advantage of the wall to stop it from flopping over while I attach a cross member that way it's hard to explain it I'm just gonna go ahead and do that and cut back I got one side partially done and I broke two drill bits so uh, yeah I think I'm out of drill bits actually and I'm running out of rivets that's where I'm at for now find some drill bits and rivets okay I found another bit allowed me to use slightly bigger rivets got two parts made left side right side but now I need to find something to go across here and then something that's gonna go across the other side from left to right I got a different idea for the next step here I'm going to bolt both sides on like that because it stands up kind of on its own once I get it bolted the way that sits on there squared and then I have two perfect size pieces cut to go across from one side to the other so I know it'll be all squared up this time bolted okay I got both sides bolted on it's probably a little off right now because still need to take this which is measured just perfect so what I want to do is maybe I'll stick it way up in there actually for support I'm gonna have it as low as I can put it without interfering with the uh, inside cage thing about there looks good but I'm gonna adjust 
make sure those are sitting evenly, which they look pretty good. And then I cut that to be pretty much perfect. Okay, I want to leave a millimeter on each side. Two millimeters on each side, up here, and then it's squared. So I'll do that now. It turns out I am completely out of rivet. I got one rivet in there, two rivets on that side. But so far, it is, uh, it's all squared up a lot better than it was the last time I assembled it. So I'm gonna leave this part of the project for the day probably. I gotta go to I gotta go to either a friend or a Canadian tie or somewhere to get some rivets. Or I might find a bunch of little tiny bolts. I'll have to sit down and dig through stuff. I might just find a whole bunch of little nuts and bolts. Just finish it up. But I wanna talk about what I am going to do for my batteries, because it's not not exactly ideal. I have three brand new 18 amp hour 12 volt batteries that output it's like I think it said 270 amps per battery like they're crazy output inputs pretty lame though like they charge kind of slow and then I have this old 20 amp hour 12 volt and they're the exact same size so I can fit all four of them in a box in that box but this one's older so it's no longer 20 amp hour and I'm betting it's about 17 amp hour. And these are used now. Well, they were brand new, like two months ago. It, it's not good to mix these, because I'm gonna have three of these and one of them, which isn't a good idea, but I'm gonna do it anyway. So four of those in series. And then I'm gonna take off this battery, that charger. This charger only does 12 or 24 volts. That was gonna be my solar thing, but I'm gonna go back to this one again. This is my favorite charger. Absolute favorite. It's awesome. The stuff it displays, it displays um, kilowatt hour usage, um, kilowatt hour gain, your amps in from solar panel, amps out that you're using. Uh, it does 12, 24, 36, 48 volt. So I'm gonna have the three solar panels, they're 30 watt each, about 18 watt or 18 volts each. So that gives me 54 volts. But I'm actually gonna set this, because of this old battery here, I'm gonna set it to 53.5, I think-ish, for a max charge. So I'll be heavy, a lot heavier than I plan to be in a month from now. In a month I have lithium coming, but for now I'll have this and be heavy but it will be charging 100% all the time while I'm riding. That's the plus side of lead acid with this type of controller. So I gotta get the three panels mounted up on that. And these batteries are actually almost sitting at the same voltage. This one sat for about a month, maybe a month and a half. I'm not even gonna balance them. I'm just gonna install them and then use them before I charge them. But uh, let me know what you think. I'd love to hear your thoughts and questions. I don't know, hit, the, hit subscribe, hit the like bell, share, all that stuff. Definitely leave some comments though. Thank you very much. I think we're going to skip the rest of the build. I'm just going to have it all assembled. And then on the next build, we're going to test ride it. Anyway, so four. Oh, did I just find two bigger rivets? I just found some rivets. Yeah, we're not going to end the video yet. I thought it was going to end the video, but so we're going to finish this up. I found four rivets. It's about to rain, but uh, there it is, I guess. I still got a few more rivets to put in, make it a little more sturdier. Panels are just sitting on top right now, but uh, there it is. It's pretty light, minus the fact that I'm going to be using a uh, whoa light change for lithium or four lead acid batteries. But uh, anyway, if you wanna see how well this works, like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Thank you very much. And let me know what you think.